The history of the Plymouth Barracuda actually begins in 1964 with a number of different model designs during the first few years of production. However, our overview starts in 1970 as many believe this was the first year the Cuda became a true muscle car. The shaker hood, hood pins, outrageous paint colors and call out stripes or side banners boldly displaying engine displacement, the Cuda is still considered by many to be the ultimate expression of the muscle car aesthetic. In 1970, Plymouth offered three models in the new E-body style. The Base Barracuda, the Grand Coupe, and the Sport model, or the Cuda. There were ten different engine options for the lineup. From a 225 cubic inch 6 with 145 horses, to a 440 cubic inch 6 pack with three double barrel carbs available only on the Cuda. The other Cuda engines were a 383 Magnum, a 440, and a Beast of a 426 Hemi V8 available only in the Cuda, producing roughly one horsepower per cubic inch and running the quarter in 14 flat at 102 miles an hour. However, Plymouth also added a 346 pack version sometime that year in the AAR Cuda designed for Trans Am Racing Series, but sold in production as well. In 1971, the Cuda's restyling was limited to a segmented grille and four headlights. While the AAR Cuda was no longer being made, a notable fact on the 71 Hemi Cuda is that only 11 convertibles were made and the most recent sale of that model brought a price tag of $3 million. Production of the 426 Hemi V8 model was inhibited by emissions restrictions and the AAR Cuda was phased out along with its 346 pack engine. In 72 and 73, few changes were made to the Cuda. Convertible, 446 pack and Hemi options were gone. The Cuda lost two headlights with the center grille divider now resembling just a portion of the 71's front end, and the tail was redesigned with four round lights, and then rubber bumper guards were added in 1973. These cars rock! For more classic muscle car pictures, info, and tips, go to ClassicMuscleCarPictures.com and like us on Facebook.